Hi, Floss Two. Hi, Floss Two. I'm Chris. I'm Jane. And we are the Boss Stitchers. Today is January 28th, and this is episode 38. Thanks for joining us. And the pretty much the only topic in town today <laughs> is snow. Yeah. <laughs> Impending snow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Impending yeah. snow. No Mageddon, <laughs> basically. I, I know. Yeah, you'd never know. We lived in New England. No. The way, yeah, the way that the the, the grocery stores are empty. <laughs> right, and, right. Yeah. The um, estimates have like ranged from three to twenty four inches. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it does in fact seem like something big is coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. I think yeah. so. We'll get. I we think, we'll think get something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think probably a foot or so around here, do you probably. think? Probably. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. Jane and I were planning on heading to the World in Stitches in Littleton, Mass. tomorrow. Yeah. But uh, Randy is going to reevaluate around 7 a.m. and <clears throat> let us know. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling that she, yeah, I have a feeling I, people won't be at the shop tomorrow. I don't think so either. Yeah. I think people but, are going to be shoveling yeah. Massive amounts of snow. <laughs> <laughs> but the good news is, if you can't make it Saturday, then try her on Sunday. Yeah, she's going to open on gonna, Sunday. Right. Yeah. 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 Very flexible. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So that's good. Um, my husband seemed very concerned that our plan had been we were yeah. going to go to the World in Stitches and then come back and film tomorrow night. But he has been paying close attention to the weather this week. And one night he said, you know, I don't think you and Jane are going to be able to film on (laughs) Saturday. You maybe better think about her coming over on Friday. So (laughs) as Jane said, (coughs) we now have an agent. So we um, decided we would take his (laughs) sound advice. And here we are. Yes, yes. (laughs) Yes. He booked us for tonight, right. so got to do what your agent says. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess with no further ado, mm. would you like to throw out the first stitch? I would. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, if you've watched us before, you know that both Chris and I are doing um, No New Starts, and we're doing... 22 in 22, so picking 22 projects, and when you finish one of one of them, you can replace it with a project of the same size. So this year, I am trying to do um, a lot of smalls, and um, I do have a Mill Hill um, small that is a, um, a whip, but I forgot to bring that. But the other small that I do have going um, is Cedar Hill. This is called Barnyard Sampler. And um, this is just a little... (coughs) Need this? I'm just trying to figure out which way it goes. I don't think so. All right. Thanks. And I just have... Uh, sort of the breast of the chicken started. I love that uh, blending of the thread on that, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's all DMC. It's just two two different colors nice. of, of DMC. That so, um, it's the, honestly reminds part of the me chicken here. of some of the chickens we saw at um, the Still Yankee. Farm, yeah. yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um... And then I did have another small as a whip, but I finished it today, so I haven't started Ooh, another one yet. All right, give her a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then my um, then my third um, small whip is um, the Mill Hill um, Christmas Tree Farm is the one I'm doing. I'm doing the um, Christmas Village series, and I'm going to do one and replace it with another one of those. So, um, so um, before um, we heard about this huge <laughs> snowstorm that's coming, um, we did have some 
a smaller storm. So I did a little stitching on my um, snow project. And that is whenever it snows, I pull out um, this project. And this is buttoned up by the Prairie Schooler. And I'm working on, this is what I have so far. Ooh, you, I get so close. So, we had some decent snowstorms last year. Yeah. And um, these little blocks work up, you know, really pretty quickly. So I'm working, this is the um, top middle. And so this is the one I'm working on right now. And I have a feeling uh, with, with all the snow that we're supposed to get tomorrow, I think you maybe should be I'll done finish by. it. Yeah. <laughs> No excuses. That's right. <laughs> I mean, you're not so, going to be doing anything else, no, right? Exactly. <laughs> My husband's home, so he'll be okay, doing the shoveling. That's, that's a good, <laughs> good thing. <laughs> Um, my the second thing that I worked on this week, which is on uh, my uh, boss made board, um, which is a takeoff on um, Jessie Marie does stuff um, her whip go. Uh, Chris and I and two friends, um, Kathy and Missy, um, who are two needles pulling thread. Yes, new floss tubers. Yeah, they're um, terrific. Yeah. So watch them, um, yep, two needles pulling thread. And so the four of us are doing a takeoff on WIPCO called Boss Me, so B-O-S for Boston and M-E for Maine. Um, and this project was called, and it was for me to work um, seven days on it. I haven't completed the seven days, but I will by the end of... January, so you gotta wait until to... wait until the last gun is That's fired. Right. But I do have to work on it until the thirtieth to complete my seven days. Okay. So that I will do. You're lucky; it's a long month, Jane. I know. So this is um, I don't know what it's called. I call it Winnie the Pooh tree, um, and I got this a long time ago on Etsy. Simonita Sabatucci. It's a mouthful. Yeah. Love that E or hang in there. Yeah. Um, so, and you know when you start oh. when you actually start working on things that you <laughs> they know, actually you, come together. You see some progress. <laughs> so I have E or I have E or almost done. Um, I didn't fill in his his eyes, but and then uh, I started working uh, a little bit on the tree. Until I realized that, of course, I don't have one of the DMC colors. And despite the it, fact that Jane and I have really purchased every DMC <laughs> thread ten times over, yeah. neither one of us have been available. <laughs> right. So, uh, anyway, I'll have to get that. But, you know, I can move on and do other, some other stuff before. It's great. So, yeah, I love the color. I, mean, I know. I think the color it's so is, true to... Uh, yeah. 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 It's coming out really nice. They should call it Eeyore Blue. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then this year I'm working on the uh, Temperature Butterflies by uh, Sarah Stitch and Mommy. And this is the chart. So every month of the year you will fill in according to um, the, well, I'm using the high temperatures. So each little block here is a day of the month and, and i bet you got a lot of blues and <laughs> yeah and purples yeah. And so um i'm there. stitching this on um 28 count lugana it's called glacier pretty color and sorry chris <laughs> i didn't take this out of the cue yeah. snap but oh, um, <laughs> all right <laughs> uh yep but this is um this is what I have so far for January. I think I've, I don't know, I could count, but I think I've done like 15, um, 15 days yeah. or 13 days or something like that. Um, it's another one you'll so, have a chance to catch up on this weekend. Yeah, definitely. And I, and I, I really like working on this because each, you know, each of these little things, you just 
fill it in so you really feel like you've accomplished yeah, something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I really, I have to get going. This is yeah, you have to get this February. Is, this yeah. is the outline of February's, but I so I really do have to get going and make another butterfly. So, and then wow. um, I have um, let freedom ring. And I started, uh, I was kind of taking a break from this for a little while, but I really can't take a break because I, I have to finish this thing. So, and I've got so much done. Um, you sure do. So what I did, you're not really going to be able to tell a lot, but um, what I, I did a lot of the... Um, I did a lot of the back stitching in the in this big building, so uh, that's a big accomplishment. Yeah, and I have I have it all done except for the the windows, the uh, mullions, mullions in the windows. You, got me. you know the slats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I have to do those, um, and then I did. I decided that I was so sick of doing back stitching that I started up here on the plant. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on the nice. uh, top left, so. Looks great, Jane. Yeah, so, and again, you know, work on it a little bit every day and- Pays off, huh? Pays off, All right. exactly. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> All right. So those were my whips, what do you got? Well, mine's gonna be fairly short and sweet. <clears throat> this is, um, one that was, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. I jumped ahead to finishes. Oh. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> Let's back it up. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Oh, well, as Jane said, we've been working away on our um, boss me picks for um, this month, the first month of doing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I had really pretty easy, good choices like, um, you know, one of mine was um, work on something I could actually finish, and I did. Another was stitch what I want when I want, then we had free <laughs> space. And <clears throat> so this pretty much was really the only specific project one I had. And this is Coco Time by Ink Circles. And this is a really fun stitch to do. I love the colors in it and um, all the little motifs. Is that the call for picture. fabric? It isn't the call for fabric, um, but I definitely stayed within the color theme there. Mm -hmm. um, this is 28 Count Lugana Fabrics by Stephanie and Briar Rose. And I think it called for um, a dusty rose or something. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Who, what the who the um, dyer was on that. Mm -hmm. So that's the pattern. And it was kind of like that's a nice. lot of doodads, which um, not really confetti, but it yeah takes a little more time. But then there's the bigger sections too. Hope that uh, fabric's a little, not quite as dark as it's looking on there. But anyway, <clears throat> that's a fun one. So I have made, I think I really only have the 200 stitches in this to get it into um, No New Starts 22, 22. And um, so I've had got quite a yeah. bit of progress on that. Yeah. And as Jane mentioned, the rules in 22 Starts in 2022 allows for you when you have a finish to substitute within a similar category, whether you have a small, a medium, a large, or a big ass size project. So <laughs> our faithful fans will know my <laughs> extensive Pine Mountain collection. So I just happened to be doing a little cleaning out in my stash, and I came up with this gem of old. And this is February Expressions, a kit from Pine Mountain. <clears throat> and mm. I thought for a couple of reasons I would pull this out. One of them being, I've had a number of appointments recently and 
these are great for just like little carry along things, you know, to have with you. Mm -hmm. And I also, my sense of economy told me, hmm, instead of buying my husband a Valentine card, <laughs> I think I could just whip this up. So I, I did find, again, in my rather extensive collection, that um, I have a pillow that will, because you just slip this thing on oh, when it's, it's done. Oh, it'll fit in there. So yeah. it's a very easy FFO. Uh -huh. I will say, though, I was quite a disappointed with the High Mountain. And I think, you know, I've had this for a long time, I would say. It's from 2010 anyway. And I was thinking to myself, I hope I got this at a big discount because, um, you know, they come fully kitted and I open it up. Okay, no needle. Kind of, kind of aggravating, but, you know, okay. You I've got, got needles. needles. You know, that's fine. And then I look at the um, legend and there's eight symbols on it only six of which they identify in the legend. <laughs> and then I count the thread, and there's nine different colors. <laughs> so I think, well, okay, I think I'll get on Pine Mountain's website and check. And they had a correction link, so I click that on. Oh, too bad, link broken. So I emailed them and I said, oh, I got this kit. And I don't think they knew what a big fan I was, but <laughs> that, um, you know, really very disappointing. You got six of the eight identified and nine threads and all this. Never heard back from them. So, you know, I'm kind of thinking, are they even in business anymore, really? <laughs> You never really see new ones of these come out. Yeah. So I think it's kind of kind yeah. of time to yeah, just yeah. wrap up the ones I have and move on. But So that's Plus, that. With all of the uh, floss you have, I'm I, sure yeah. that you could figure yeah, out a color to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll find something. <laughs> it's going to get done one way or another. Oh, my God. So that's my whip story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What do you Should want I to move do on to finishes? finishes sure. right here? Okay, right. so this is the one I pulled out before. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I brought that, but, you know, you can see what it is by now. Anyway, this is I Will Find You by Lucy Beam. And I was very close to a finish last episode. And um, this, again, was a really fun one. Mm -hmm. Just um, two colors I'm making this for a um, fabulous quilter friend of Jane and mine who has had um, a couple of big events in her life recently, retirement and a milestone birthday. So um, I'm set to send this off to the finisher to make a little pillow for her. Nice. And that's that. Okay. So, uh, let's see. I had three finishes, and this was a whip from last week, and it's called the um, Favorite mm -hmm. Font Sampler from um, Plum, uh, Plum Street Samplers, and it is the Quick Brown, uh, the Quick... The quick brown, brown fox, fox, right, jumps over the lazy <laughs> dog. <clears throat> Very nice. With that, uh, so this is a... Come as a kid or no? You got no. fabric? No. Yeah, yep. that's fabric. Yep. I, um, I used 32 count flax, and all the flosses um, is DMC. Right. Uh, yeah. And um, this is a milestone. Yeah. I even sort of... I, I ran a quick iron over it for, for all of you. So. <laughs> oh, a red letter kind of. Red project. letter finish. Well, yeah, all so. of us who took typing in high school. I know. I know. I think that's why I like it. This. I like it because, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It reminds me of that. That's yeah. a cute, cute stitch. Yeah. How are you thinking of finishing it? Um... You know, it's small, so I was thinking about a pillow, but I think I might want to frame it. Yeah. I think I might want to frame it and hang it on the wall. Yeah. So. That's cute. I haven't decided yet, but 
I think maybe a frame. Very nice. Okay. Um, so now that I have finished that, um, I'd like to uh, give this chart away if anyone is, is interested in it. Um, we'll use the random comment picker, and um, if you use the word... Typing? <laughs> <laughs> How about quick? <laughs> quick. Q-U-I-C-K. All right. Um, so just leave, leave that word in the comment. And while I'm talking about it, um, I will show you... I'm going to show you these one more time. I, I, I um, showed these uh, last, was it last week or I don't know, or last episode or the episode before. I have these two. Um, they are yellow onions and main potatoes. Um, this came as a, a kit. Um, I didn't use the um, Ada that it came with. And I've already showed these, but this is the yellow onions, and this is the main potatoes. And um, I would like to give this away too, to anyone who might be interested in stitching this. And I do have, it didn't take much floss, um, so, but I will give you whatever floss I have left. Uh, the red, I, I don't have any more left, but um, I'll give you the the rest. And I think it's all, I'm pretty sure it's all DMC anyway. So if you if you run out, you know, you can pick something or, you know, make something, get something close. Make something up. Yeah. So, all right, Chris, what should we use for this? What word do you want, would you like to use? I think we have to use main okay. in order of our friends. All right, main. So put the word main. With an E. With an E. M A I N E, all right, and uh, we'll pick we'll pick a winner and announce uh, in our next episode, which will probably be you know two weeks from now. Okay. Um, all right, so then I had another finish. Well, yeah, oh. uh, that's kind of a finish. So I got this um, from uh, Central Colonial. Yeah, but. Um, what's the New Hampshire celebration? Oh, celebrations. Yeah. So yes. So celebration of needlework in New Hampshire. Uh, I got this there, and it's a it was a kit, and it's called uh, Blue Jay, and this was old um, colonial designs, and in the kit came, I mean, everything came with it. So came with like the backing fabric and the. Um, Cording mm -hmm. and came with like a template to cut out the, the circle to put on the box. So it also came with this wooden jar. And I, um, this, if you can see it, but so this is the original color. And I stained it with um, brown shoe polish. Oh, great. And, um, yeah, that's what Pam actually suggested Destined, to use. Okay. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so I did that. And now, uh, and here's the stitching. Oh, very pretty. Yeah, I thought that that came out cute. Yeah. The only thing I have to do is there's a little charm that it came with, too. So, and all the bells and whistles. Yeah, so I'll put, I just have to sew that charm on. And then I'm, you know, I'm just so averse to finishing that I'm, <laughs> I'm going to give this to my finisher too because and she'll do a terrific job. Well, the, the, I mean, I don't, I only want her, I only really need her to, to do a batting thing and make a, make the circle. And then I, you know, I can glue it to the top, but I don't, you know, I don't have any. Are you sure? Well, I don't know. I don't have any batting or anything, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask my finisher to to make the like round, you know, puffy yeah, little yeah, that'll pin look great. cushion or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's a very cute little project. Yeah, and it was 
very, very quick. <laughs> very, very Well, quick. you are catching up on those smalls, Jane. That's this year. right. <laughs> she said, you know, <laughs> some of them are smaller than smalls. Uh, Maybe but... they'll be making a new category and a new start. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> there's small and then there's Jane right. small. <laughs> Uh, and then here's one more that I, this is the one I finished today. It's called Jefferson's book quote. Um, I cannot live without books. And the thing that I thought was kind of cool about this is Jefferson's signature yeah, here. That's true. So I thought that was kind of neat. Yeah. And, um, so here it is. It's done. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I thought maybe I would maybe try to find a like a small frame. Yeah. I might even yeah. have one that I got at um, the World in Stitches. Uh, anyway, that is it. Yeah, um, I like that one. Okay, um, those are all my finishes. All right. Uh, now what do you want to do? Does that bring us to, um, you don't have any FFOs. I don't have any FFOs. I don't, I don't no, either. Do you? Um, no. Well, okay. as you know, my haul, well, went from <laughs> nothing to small. So maybe we'll <laughs> dive into that and I'll begin. Okay. Um, my haul, which I just got minutes ago, is um, thanks to my friend Jane. Um, Who's a dope. <laughs> had a momentary lapse in <laughs> memory and it thoroughly benefited me because I just got this lovely heartstring sampler which is Christmas bells and she had two copies so I was gifted on the spot <laughs> and I'm really going to enjoy that as we were, were talking about though and um, I don't think either of us going to do it um it uh, has uh, what suggests Gloriana silks, but it has the DMC conversion as well. And um, this is bigger than we probably would have thought. It's yeah. 200 by 200. Yeah. Yeah. They did this on uh, Lakeside Linens, which I bet would be mm. beautiful for it. But the colors and everything really look nice. Love that. Love the words on that. Love the... Um, yeah. I don't. Everything um, about it. I don't think um, I'll be starting it this year, though. No, I don't think so either. I don't think now two hundred would that be in the big ass category? That's um, no. I think it's a large because isn't isn't oh, it's two fifty? I think right. Yeah. It would be large. Yeah. But I don't think I'm going to finish anything in my large category probably. So. I don't know. I don't know. But the, the, the years you never young, know. But, you, you never know. know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd have to have a spot for this that I yeah. wasn't planning on since <laughs> it was such a spontaneous <laughs> gift. So thank you. You're welcome. I oh, really look forward to that. Yes. Yeah. You'll be looking forward to more of my mistakes, right. I'm sure. <laughs> Um, so I have um, a lot of uh, the gentle art um, threads yeah. to show you because uh, last time I did my whip parade, so you know that was going to take a long time. So I we decided that I I wouldn't show the um, flosses that I got. So we got double this time. I'll hold All right. For you, are you? Okay. So let's see if we can see how this how this looks. That's not bad. Yeah, that's right. a pretty green. So cucumber and brandy. Hmm. Is that light for brandy or uh, is that the color? That's brandy? not the color. I don't know. That's not the color kind of brandy I drink. No, that's no. what I was thinking. <laughs> this one is um, brick path, so it's got some browns and maroons in there. Uh, dungarees oh that's a nice one and this doesn't look like evergreen either to me <laughs> oh it doesn't but that's it, the name it, of it is it marked one? <laughs> and this is green apple which looks an awful lot like evergreen well no, i guess <laughs> it's lighter <laughs> and then we have 
grape leaf. It's a little truer to form, I guess. Hibiscus. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's pretty. It's very pretty. And gold leaf. Nice. And uh, freedom. Oh, freedom. That's always a popular. Mm -hmm. That's a great shade of blue. Yeah. Uh, this is called Fragrant Cloves. Ooh, I can smell it from here. <laughs> uh, geranium. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ginger Snap. That's very accurate looking, isn't it? Yeah. I see some gingerbread men coming out of that. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, this is Glass Slipper. Ooh. Magical. And Heirloom Gold. And, oh, and Grape Arbor. That one's going to be hard, I think, to see because it's a darker, kind of a darker purple. Yeah, kind of brownish tinge to it, isn't it? Yeah. Green tea leaf and holly berry, another pretty red. Uh, honey dew. Looks like evergreen. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one is Highland Heather. So Great there we go. Selection. Yeah. So uh like gorgeous. Yeah, and I get these from um, Welcome Stitchery, so I will, um, and I get them uh, monthly, um, 10, ten, a good ten collection stains a month. Going there. So, yeah. yeah, and they're, they're sort of doing them alphabetical. I mean, they throw in a few that aren't um, sometimes. Keep you on your toes. Yeah, but um, in general, I think they're alphabetical. So I'm going to have to stay in the club for um, quite a <laughs> yes. while if I, you know, since I'm only up to the Fs. <laughs> well, that's a G's, good club actually, to be G's, in. G's, I guess. Um, and then... Oh, I can't wait to see all this. All right, so Half Moon Stitchery was having a New Year's sale, and... Everything was 30% off, um, and some of the things were already on sale and 30% off of that. So um, I went a little wild. Um, and, uh, but understandable. So, yeah, so uh, here we go. All right. Actually, this is from 123. Um, I like... Um, this is one of the fox, foxwood crossings that I did not have, so I like that one. And then, um, oh, that looks familiar. Yeah, and then I got this <laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem when you know you order something. Oh, I know because and it doesn't come right take away. So and long. then yeah, yeah. And and not that this took forever, but I was just a dope. <laughs> Um, and then this is another heart string samplery. This is called Merry Birds. That's really fun. Yeah, I like this one. They also have another one that has, I think it has a couple of the same ones in it, but there are also um, other ones okay. that have to do with that same song. Oh, oh yeah. okay. You know, I won't sing it. Yeah, but. all right. This one I've been wanting for a very long time and finally mm, got it. I love it. this. So this is Autumn Town from Autumn Lane. And I'm looking forward to starting Yeah. Starting that. I think that's pretty. Love those fall colors. Um, this is called Holiest of Nights. This is a homespun elegance that I had never seen before. No. I like that. And what is the... Count is 121 by 74. 
I think that's it's in a small. small. Yeah, it's a small. Yeah. One. Okay. You made it. Yeah. By I the might, skin I of might your have teeth. to do that. You might have to. I have a lot of nativity ones in my small category. There. Yeah, you do. You need a, a separate small category for that, really. <laughs> Um, this That's I thought was pretty. really cute. It's called oh. Hooligans Hangout. I don't recognize that one. Yeah, um, I, I kind of, I don't know. I think I remember it, but I haven't seen it in a really long time. Yeah, I like that. So this is a Glendon place. They have such great Halloween things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so a bunch of these things I, I, I had on my wish list, um, so I picked up, so I narrowed down, I got some of the things off my wish list, and then a bunch of these things, too, I, I like, didn't know that I that wanted. That should have been on you know, the, the wish yeah, list, yeah. yes, yeah. Um, this is one that um, actually was on my wish list. This is Country Cottage Kids, and it's, um, s she sells seashells, and it's, she sells seashells by the seashore. That's very cute. Yeah. Guess who I'm thinking about that one for. I know. Uh, this is um, the Calico Confectionery, and this is All is Calm. Isn't Ooh, that isn't pretty? Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And that should be the old quick stitch, Jane. Yep, I think so. I think so. There's nothing on the back except for the pattern. Yeah. It's just one, one piece. So. I don't have anything by then. I don't either. Yeah. Um, this is uh, Luminous Fiber Arts. These are from uh, Misty Purcell. And this is a, a little series that she she just um, put out. Oh. Um, 2020. This is, uh, it's called Christmas in the Kitchen. And the first is, I don't know if it's the first, but one of them is um, Gingerbread. Isn't he cute? Great finishes on those, yeah. huh? And then this one is cocoa. And this is candy canes. I like Mrs. Claus. Yeah. Very festive. They and go then so nicely together. This is another Luminous Fiber Arts, and this is called um, Holly Jolly. So that's cute. Cute. All smalls. Yeah, yeah. Be whipping these I, off because I don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be turning so. those squares all the way. <laughs> so this one, Chris will be glad that I have <laughs> to put her out of her misery. <laughs> Uh, I keep talking about this and talking about it, and I, you know, so I finally pulled the trigger. Oh, thank and God. Got it. This is um, The Beatitudes by Erica Michaels. There are three um, charts for this, and I finally got part three. So I can start that, and that as soon as I finish it. Small category. No, it is not. No. No. Unless I Maybe did each, each one of those. them individually. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, oh, this one's been went. on my wish list for a while. The Prairie Schooler um, Snowy Nights. That's really cute. Yeah. I like, I, I really like the partridge in a pear tree. I like this one. It's got the a reindeer up oh, on yeah. the roof. And I like the moose. I like this I snowman like that's on the back. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, this is, um, yeah, it's this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So. Very cute. Yeah. And then, uh -huh. I like this because you don't see a lot of charts with Mrs. Claus. No, you don't. So, this is from Thistles, and it's Mrs. Claus's kitchen. And oh, yeah. this nice. one I had to get because I have the other two in this series. And I'm wondering when she's going to come out with a, a fall chart. Uh, this is Madame Chantilly. And this is Winter Hot Cocoa. Who in our group was stitching this? Someone in our stitch group was yeah, doing it. Yeah, it does. Karen. Seem... Karen was oh, was she? It. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Karen, I cute. now have it because of you, because <laughs> I saw how cute it was. That is a really cute one. Uh, 
Cottage Ooh. Garden Samplings has a series. It's called A Time for All Seasons, and this one is summer. I got um I got a couple of them. Yeah, this one is that one summer at, all, at the though. shore, and this is number eight. I'm not gonna need to do them all, but I do like this one. That's how I feel with those monthly ones. Yeah, it's like really the fall into the winter that really appealed to me on mm -hmm. those. Oh, so, I see some of your favorites. So these here. have been on, you know, these are uh, you know on my wish list, and this was this is the last one in the series. Oh, you them all. I have them all. So fifteen, and they're all smalls. <laughs> this is um, it, it, the uh, sing a song of Christmas series by J B W Designs, and this is number fifteen. Um, I heard the bells. I think next year you should do your 22s, all smalls, and you could have a different category for each one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do yeah, have a lot. I, you're right. I do have a lot. Uh, and then this is a seaside, the Seaside series that I've stitched um, all but... I have one chart. I have number six that I haven't done yet. Mm -hmm. And this is number seven. I love these. Yeah. And this one I've been um, looking at for a while. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? Well, at, you know, 30% 30 30 off. off. Um, so this is a Winter Valentine by the Blue Flower. And that's very nice. And this is a small. One, is it? Let's okay. see, 180. Yeah, 177. Right? Yeah. That qualifies. Um, this one has been on my wish list for a long time, too. And I don't really know why. I just, I kind of think they are cute, I guess. Um, they're mini samplers by the work basket. I'm trying to get the glare off of this. It's one of these stupid, oh, those sticky stupid um, ones that yeah. are hard to... Um, so here we have the desert and the... What is that? That's the forest. Fo forest, yep. That's the forest. This is the seaside. And this is like the woods. That is cute. Uh, oh, you can't... But, yeah. Um, All right. Studio. So, yeah. So I already have. So this is uh, Leela's studio, and um, it's called With the Needle Two. Um, I actually have With the Needle One, but it's missing. I think. I think this um, block. It's these blocks are the same, but I don't. I think it. It doesn't have this last one. Mm. So if I'm gonna do it. Why not do it all, right? Right, right. Uh, so I've got this. And uh, we'll start Very that pretty. at some point. Yeah. That's not a small. No, oh my God. it isn't. 426 by 186. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You got more than you bargained <laughs> for with that, right? Yeah, I got my money's worth. <laughs> And then this one, I... That's not a small either. No, but I really, really like it. It um, is really pretty. And it's called Inspiration by Rosewood Manor. Wow. And, you know, this is this is one of those that I um, I visit every, <laughs> every year at Galleria. <laughs> so... I think that's what... When I see it here, I think it's one of my favorite Rosewood Manors. Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah. I The middle, I haven't... I've heard the middle is one over one. I don't know for sure, but... Um, scratch that idea I had for you of doing all smalls last year. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I could just finish all my smalls this year, and then I could do oh, that's all a plan. Well, baps I, next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the rate you've been going, I think that's doable, Jane. <laughs> so, um, that's good. Anyway, guess, that's, you know. That's, that's impressive. That that's, is an impressive haul well, there. That's way too much haul, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, like I said, there's been things on my that have been on my wish list yeah. for a while. And you can resist. Yeah. Where's Half Moon Stitch relocated? 
Good question. They are in um, Vermont. Oh, okay. Williston, Vermont. Hmm, do they have a um, brick and mortar, I wonder? I don't know. I don't no. no, okay. I don't think so. I think you're right. We never hear anybody yeah. mention that. Yeah, no, Too I, bad I, I, because I don't think so, but I'll link. We're um, fitting distance of that. Yeah. They have a phone, you know, you can phone and they have an email, so I'll I'll put that Get in the description. Get back to us on that, okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. All, right. All right. I guess that brings us to plans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we've been referencing our boss me board, mm -hmm. and Kathy just picked the numbers for us for February this week. Mm -hmm. So I, and, um... So there's we do a bingo board style, so there are 25 possible choices. So and we, we're just doing this for six months to start with. So last month she picked five, and this month she picked four. Yep. And then four for the rest of the year. And for me, one of the ones I picked was I Will Find You. So I already That's had done. that finished from last month. So mm -hmm. I've got three. And for me, I had set, um, for most of my things, five days of stitching as mm -hmm. my goal for the month. Yeah. So I've got uh, my Portuguese fish. Oh, nice. Which I love. Uh -huh. So I'm really happy to go back to that. And now the one of the other things. Oh, I know what I have. I have All is Bright. Oh. That, one, that yeah, seaside yeah. looking mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. one. And so I'm excited for that. And I have Let's Talk Summer, which I admittedly am not as excited about because that's my fourth in um, hands-on designs series. Mm -hmm. And I'm not so much a summer stitcher, but I'm glad it was picked because that will, mm. you know, get yeah. me to get some done on that. Because you've done so, all the rest of them. Right, exactly. So, so I yeah. got to do it. Gotta I've got a summer. place in the hall yeah. that'll be... <laughs> exactly. Lonely come summer, so yeah. I got to do that, and it's a short month, yeah. So that gives me fifteen days on those, and mm -hmm. then few few more on yeah. Whatever what else you want to stitch on, yeah. yeah, yeah. So how about but, you? How are your picks? So my picks were um, to work on um, eat cake and uh, and I have to oh good That's I had a fun one. add three motifs so I'm doing a lot of desserts on there so I'll just have to pick three and get those done uh, which is good because that'll motivate me to get back to that yeah um, and then I have um, I'm doing my husband's name in Sylvester the cat letters. So that is to complete his name. Um, and then, let's see, what else? The Winnie the Pooh tree was picked this month, so that will be done. And the other thing that was picked for me is Little Drummer Boy, that's a heaven and earth Ooh. design. And that's to work on that for five days. You haven't uh, picked that one up in a while, No, huh? I haven't. Yeah, no. that'll be good so, too. It will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that's having a nerve, though, right? It is. So maybe you'll have <laughs> yeah, yeah, a corner yeah. of the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <sighs> you you still won't be able to tell <laughs> what it is, but um, and then the last thing was to work for seven days on. I have a the daffodil um, table oh, yeah. runner that I got, and I haven't well, I haven't even started that. So I'll put a good dent in that, though. I feel I like hope seven so. days in yeah, that. I hope yeah, so. yeah. Um, yeah. so that should keep me busy, out of trouble. I think so. Yeah, yeah. And then the things that I haven't finished uh, were to update my wish list. <laughs> Which now I can, I can do again. Right, right. Start um, from scratch. It yeah, looks like yeah. And yeah. then to f finish, let freedom ring. Ha ha. Oh. <laughs> and then uh, I was supposed to choose a pattern and fabric for um, my StitchCon exchange, um, but I don't know. I mean, I kind of have some ideas, but I don't. You know, I have a little bit of time, so that's. 
I want to I wanna be able to color in this square so that I can get a <laughs> boss me bingo. Uh, but, oh, that uh, never occurred to me we would go into the bath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I kind of go upstairs. <laughs> I know now. <laughs> exactly. See if these two get called and I finish them or, you know, so. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Wow, this helps the ante on this, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But you don't get a prize. We know, gotta get you, going. You I make your own. Get... You make your own prize. Oh, you make your own prize. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. I thought maybe you'd have another something <laughs> like this that I'd win. <laughs> so, um, all right. I think that's it. Then. I think that's it. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see you again in a couple of weeks or so. Yeah, and if we meantime, if we get shoveled out, if we get shoveled out, <laughs> if you live in the northeast, stay warm, yes. stay safe. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. So we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks again for joining us, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.